Oh, yeah, go. All right, Development of Skyscrapers by Kyle Lincoln and Sam Hinden. Until the 19th century, buildings over six stories tall were found rare. Um, on top of people not wanting to climb the stairs, there was an insufficient amount of water pressure uh, for floors above 50 meters, so people found it impractical to build tall buildings. Uh, in spite of impracticality <coughs> and lack of sanitation, high-rise buildings date back from the 16th and 17th centuries. The earliest example is the 16th century city of Saiban in Yemen. It's regarded as the oldest skyscraper city in the world. Um, another early example of high-rise housing was in 17th century in Edinburgh, Scotland. That was a picture of it. Uh, the oldest iron frame building in the world is the Flam Flax Mill in Shaw Shrewsbury, England. It was built in 1797 and is seen as the grandfather of skyscrapers. Its fireproof combination of cast iron columns and cast iron beams developed it into the modern steel frame that made modern skyscrapers possible. There's a picture. Architects soon turned to the use of a cast iron and raw iron work framework uh, to support the weight of the upper floors. The, this advancement allowed more floor space and lower stories. In 1848, in New York City, James Bon Gerdes built a cast iron building with a rigid frame of rigid frame of iron, providing the main support for upper floors and roof loads. Major Williams Lee Baron Jenny uh, created the first low bearing structure, structural frame. In this building, a steel frame supported the entire weight of the walls instead of the low bearing walls carrying the weight of the building. This development um, came to be known as the Chicago Skeleton uh, Form of Structure. Solvin Wainwright, Solvin's Wainwright Building in St. Louis built in 1890 was the first steel frame building with high soaring vertical bands to emphasize the <coughs> to emphasize the height of the building. This uh, building is thought by some to be the first true skyscraper. <coughs> 